<laughs> hello, hello, and welcome to this episode of the Sandbell Captiva Guide. A little bit different. A little bit? A lot. <laughs> Apparently we're doing some sort of cooking, which I'm a big fan of, of course. <laughs> I'm not either. We're both terrible cooks. Okay, so why are we doing a cooking show? <laughs> well, you know, when we started the podcast, I took this real deep, 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 deep dive into Sanibel and Captiva and the history of it and... I started collecting books all about the history and things of the islands, and you can attest that I would get many deliveries every. Yes, from yes, yes. Every but day. Why it? <laughs> well, one of the books I found out about was one called "The Island Bake Shop's Favorite Recipes." And his name's Jack Van Jack Van Bells. I think Bell. Well, it says apostrophe s. No, that's his. Lemon oh, print. Jack Van Bell. Okay, Jack Van Bell. Okay, right. so Jack Van... Say that again? Jack Van Bell. Jack Van Bell. Jack Van Bell was a guy that came to the islands. Apparently, he was a little bit of a lush, bit of a drinker, travelled all around Florida. We're going to put up the actual story so that you can read it if you want to. And he basically wanted something... Uh, well, needed a job and wanted to keep himself out of trouble, so he came to Sanibel. And he basically wrote... Uh, he became a baker. And then how did he come across these... these uh, Recipes? Recipes. I, I don't know, but um, he opened a bake shop with a lady named Doris. And they started this bake shop, and I think they had it for like 20-something years. And it was super popular. Everybody that came to the islands would head straight for the bake shop. And one of their most famous recipes was something called lemon pectin cakes. And that's what we are going to attempt to make today. And what is a lemon pectin? I have no clue. Oh, it's a shell. Yes. Correct. Oh, yes. <laughs> and I'll, yes, I was going to read you. So this is part of the cookbook. It says, this particular small cake has been... Oh, that means our oven is preheated and ready to go. All right. This particular small cake has been so successful that during the season, demand is so great we can hardly make them to order and our capacity is severely taxed. That's a hard word to say. Taxed. Taxed, yeah. True yeah. Well. 20 or 25 dozen is the usual baking and very few are left to be sold to the general public over the counter. To the uninitiated, lemon pectins are a fairly rare shell that can be found on our beaches usually after a bad storm. Oh, ah, appropriate, appropriate, hmm. uh, as we are in our rental property right now. Right, right after Hurricane Ian, so I'm sure maybe the beaches are covered in lemon pectins, possibly. We'll, we'll put a picture up of a lemon pectin. They are a lovely yellow color and command a good price in the shell shops, particularly a matched pair. We bake our cakes in a small shell-shaped, look at that, shell-shaped pan. Shell-shaped pan, no problem at all. Put them together in matched pairs in paper cake cases this is a what i found on amazon i will it's called a Lemon madeline pan. no it's a madeline cake pan but i found this on amazon i'll put the link in the description it was the closest thing i could find that i thought looked like a, a lemon pectin so hopefully okay the original recipe called for a cake mix and was given to jack by a good friend we do not use mixes. We work the recipe back to from behind scratch and has been overwhelmingly su su successful. Yes. Yes. They take a lot of time to make, but it's well worth oh, the good. effort. Should we do this condensed version? Yeah. All right. All right. Ingredients. Ready? Yeah. Nick, show me the sugar. There you go. Excellent. Interesting. All right, the next thing is cake flour, which I had no idea what cake flour is. So if anybody out there knows what cake flour is, I looked in Publix, I looked in Walmart, I couldn't, find, I couldn't find anything that said cake flour. Okay. So I Googled it, and they said you can take regular flour, and for every cup of regular flour, you take out two tablespoons of the flour, and you add in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Okay. So we're going to do that to that to make the cake flour. Interesting. Right. But if anybody out there knows about cake flour, let me know. All right. We need baking powder and lemon gelatin. A pack. Of, oh, there's our cornstarch. That's to make the cake flour. No. Baking powder. No, I can't see in the back, can I? <laughs> oh, there you go. Right. Right. And then lemon gelatin dessert. Which, yeah, there you go. And then we need milk cooking oil, and lemon extract. That's milk. In case you've never said that before. 
cooking oil. Which it says pure lemon extract. It says light cooking oil, so I'm not sure what light cooking oil means. But that's right. It looks light. It, yeah, that's right. And yeah. then, all right. So then we need powdered sugar or confectionery sugar, yeah. which was this you already got. Yeah. Uh, lemon juice and yellow food coloring. So this is not very light. All right. A sort of pegged on a food color. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So we got all the ingredients. Yep, we can get rid of that. Why is there a thing? Oh, did I? Oh, we need four eggs too. Yeah. Oh, so all right, good, good, good. Eggs. Luckily you're here. All right, first of all, here we go. Stiff together in a mixing bowl, one cup of sugar. Here's our sifter. Which is right. One cup Ooh. of sugar? Yeah. All right. Oh gosh. All yeah. right. Then we need two cups of cake flour. So remember, we need two cup. Uh, each cup, we have to take a ta two tablespoons out and put in two tablespoons of cornstarch. Does that make sense to you? I don't know how you're gonna sift that. <laughs> put in this bowl first, and then we'll. Oh jeez, you're making a mess. So put two cups in there. <laughs> You're supposed to be accurate. This is, stop, I'll put no. Some in there. No, I'll put it in there and then I'll dig it out because it's not working. <laughs> oh my God, you're making a huge mess. All right. Okay. But how are you going to do that? Well, look, give me oh, the Oh, no, I know. T take the cup. Right, there you go. Put one oh, cup wow. in there. That's really clever. Yeah. All right, put one cup That's in there. Funny I thought that, isn't it? All right, and then put, and now you gotta take four tablespoons out. There's the tablespoon here. Where are you gonna put it? Back in there. Good luck. Oh, that's not very accurate. All right, go on. All right, and then we need four tablespoons. It's supposed to be level, the four tablespoons. Give me a bit back there. <laughs> Four tablespoons of cornstarch. No, it's gotta be, you gotta level it. One, four, all right. And then two teaspoons of baking powder. I'm getting it down me. <laughs> oh my goodness. What's baking powder look like? This round one. One. See, you scrape it against that edge. Oh. Hey, good. We're getting it on the last go. All right, and then the lemon gelatin dessert. How much do you want of that? The whole pack. All right, come on, come on. I think everybody's getting bored. <laughs> all right, now we mix that together. And then, all right, in another bowl. We need another bowl. Hold the line. All right, we need three-fourths cup of milk. No, we have yeah. a, no. That's three-quarters. Here's. That's good. That's, look, that's three-quarters of that cup. Uh, two-thirds cup cooking oil. No, here's a third. Put two of these. Or just one less No. Don't you dare. Oh. Two. Oops. Oh, no, it's not pulling out. Does it, should these be level? Yes. Okay. okay. Yeah. And then two tablespoons of lemon extract. Nope. Yes. And it said the quantity is correct. So I'm guessing two tablespoons seems like quite a bit, doesn't it? Yeah, oh, it so does. it's going to be very lemony. lemony. Oh, no! One. They got to be level. Oh, God. All right. Oh, jeez. All right, mix that up. Here, I'll give you a whisk. Ooh. Now we pour the liquid ingredients into the dry. A little bit at a time. You're yeah. supposed to beat at the same time. There's nothing left. Beat the liquid into the dry oh. ingredients until the batter is smooth. Is that not whisk? 
Where's that beat? Where's that beat? Sounds like, more like you're going to have to hit it or something. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, show the camera. That looks good, doesn't it? It smells really good, doesn't it? It does smell good. Mm. Looks like plaster of Paris, though. Well, super lemony. All right, how are you at separating eggs? What, how many? What, we need. <laughs> yes. We need. Oh, no, hold on. I'm no. Separating eggs. No. All right. Put hey, the, put the yolks in here. You want just the yolk? And the, the liquid, the whites and the yolks. Well, that's Separate. What Oh jeez. You said separate eggs. I know, but oh, we need, need to save and the okay, beat the yolks into the batter one at a time. Hold on, four. Well no, it says one at a time. So basically I'll beat while you separate and then put the yolk in here as your see what I'm saying? One more. Oh, this is hard to mix. Oh I've missed that one. I've got it back. That's alright. I've recovered it. Ugh. Okay, I should I should say that we did start put set the oven to 375, so that's cooking or it's heated up right now. All right, so then after that, now we need to beat the egg whites stiff but not dry, and you beat in a fourth cup of sugar. So we'll do that. We'll pause the camera and we'll come back and show you what we got to. So after we beat the eggs with a quarter cup of sugar, we have to fold the egg whites lightly but thoroughly into the batter. Are these the egg whites? I don't think they're beat enough. They're exactly the same as how I have them. I know. I don't think we beat them enough. It says to beat them until... Not dry. Yeah, not dry. They're definitely and not heat. dry. But no, they're not that. Okay, so basically we have to fold the egg whites lightly but thoroughly into the batter. Very gentle touch. I definitely didn't beat them enough. I think they beat. I beat them for, mi for minutes on end. Yeah, then you got bored. Folding. All right, fold thoroughly, lightly but thoroughly. All right, I'll do that. At the same time, you need to put, so this is what it says for the glaze, one PKG, confectionery sugar. One package confectionery sugar. How much in the package? Not that much. So according to Google, I looked it up and it said, I said, how much is one package of confectionery sugar? And it came up with three and a half cups. So I guess we're going with three and a half cups. All right, so we'll do that. Three and a half, this is for the glaze that goes on after they're cooked. That's what you're making. So three and a half cups of confectionery sugar and three fourths a cup of lime or lemon juice. I went for the lemon because we're making the lemon chicken cakes. And then yellow food coloring. Doesn't say how much yellow food coloring, so I'm guessing three and a half. Three and a half cups of confectionery sugar. Three fourths of a cup of lime juice or lemon juice. Three quarters of a cup. Yeah. That's not that's a half a cup. Yeah, so we do one and a half of these. Get it? No. And then oh my gosh, yellow food coloring. Yellow food coloring. This is our natural. What, food color? Yeah. This is red, but it says yellow, is that right? It's <laughs> tough. No, it does, look. What? Oh. Yeah. It's got to be red. No, it's yellow. But it's red. I think it's yellow. Go. Okay. I'll show if it's yellow. <gasps> Stop! It's red, of course it is. Where's the yellow? All right, make sure, let's see. With this? Yeah. Oh, no, it's going to be All right, good. All right, so 
But we're supposed to heat that up in a very hot double broiler. How do we, how do, we do that if we know how to do it? Oh, show it right back. It's actually scrambled eggs. Yeah, it looks like scrambled eggs. All right, that's way too much. That's enough yellow, for sure. All right, um, we're going to have to figure out how to heat that up. So we'll put that to the side. And then this, so we need to grease our pectin pan. pan. So we're going to put this in a double boiler. We're going to figure out how to do that. And double then, So then we have to grease our lemon pectin pan with soft vegetable shortening and dust with flour and spoon the batter into the pan and bake. Oh, this one says 325. Or no, if you're doing the small, that's for the big cake. If you do the small ones, 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. What's this? What are you putting in this? So I'll spray it with this, this. And then dust it with flour. Bake at 375 for 12 to 15 minutes. Remove immediately and you dip into the glaze with a slotted spoon. No! That's, that's not good. That's, that's the glaze. Yeah, I know about this. But this so this will go in there. Yeah, we need, we need something to put it. Get like a cup. This that folded? I don't know. It doesn't look consistent. Yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh. What? Alright, try not to. No, you can't overfill them because they're. Well, I'm, getting, I'm getting the hang of it. No, lower than the. There you go, I've got it. Alright. Put your we'll, cake. We'll come back after we work some magic. Looks good. There we go. There we go. Ooh. Can we put them on here? I don't know. Oh. Ooh, they look good. It says, uh, turn out immediately until wire rack. Out. Da, 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 da. And go. Oh, they did. Yes. Wow. Oh my gosh, they worked. Why are you so surprised? Uh, how Ooh. cute! This one. Alright. So this was the confectionery sugar, the lemon juice, no, lemon juice, and the yellow food coloring. How's that going to work? It doesn't you know, pick it, it up. It says to... Somebody tells me it should be thicker then. I don't know. Turn out immediately onto a wire rack, carefully spoon over cake the glaze until absorbed. It didn't I swear it's a slotted spoon. Alright, oh, I need a bigger spoon. You can get a bigger spoon. Get a bigger spoon. This is glazing? Yeah. It doesn't look like it. Yeah. Does it? Yeah, look, so it's soaking in. Ouch! Oh, what's oh my god! Oh, what's what happened? You burnt me! <laughs> Sorry. This is water in here. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know. That was our double broiler. There we no, go. No, actually, you missed the one here. See? Oh, see here, we're getting the water! There you go. Now, do we try them? I don't think yet. I think they'll be too hot. Let's pull them cool down for a minute. Alright. How about now? Turn it off for a minute. Tell it.
Okay, you want to try one? You've already tried one because I see crumbs on your lips. No, I was <laughs> just <laughs> testing. Yeah, right. You ate the entire one already. Come on, Lisa. Alright, right, chew, chew, chew. Go. Stop it. Oh! What do you think? Mmm. Really lemony. But sweet lemon. Mm hmm. I might, I might, or might not know, but I'm just guessing. Yeah, and this will be your second. Mmm. Mm. What do you think? Excellent. Yeah. Very good. There we go. Sanibel's famous lemon. Did you show them after they were glazed? Mmm. Not like this one. There you go. Mmm. So apparently, obviously we haven't given enough time to dry, but I'm guessing the glaze will dry. And then they said they would package them together. They really do. Into little boxes and sell them. So. Alright, so here they are, finished off. Pat that link. Pat our, there we go. So pretty. They're actually really, really good. Yeah. Really, really Ready, ready. Ta-da! There you go. And everybody send us a picture of yours after you've done them. I'm sure they will look a lot better than ours. We are very, very, very happy. I'll tell you what you should do. No, I think we're excellent. But what you could do is if you make two of these and then put a cream filling in the middle. Ooh. Oh, that'd be the way. Like a lemon cream or just a cream filling. Just Maybe cream. Too much just lemon. cream. Cream, yeah, that's it. Just cream. So make like the lemon thing. Yeah. Really good. Here it is. Send us your pictures. Let us know what you think. Yeah, that there. Excellent. So that's all from this version of Cooking with Nick and Laurie on the Sun and Bell Cap TV Guide. Right. We'll put the recipe on our website, thesandcapguide.com, and then I'll put a link to the cake pan that we used off of Amazon. So, yeah. Excellent. Bye. Bye. Good job.